All right, change of scenery today. We are in my bedroom. Usually when I film, I'm in my office, but now since uh, the video is dedicated to my bedroom, I figured I'd come here. As you can probably see, I don't have much going on around here. I'm sitting on the floor because I didn't want anybody to see really like what is going on in my bedroom because nothing is really going on. I moved into this place about a year ago and the uh, bedroom that I have is not completely furnished the way that I want it to be. In the meantime, you know when you move into somewhere and you're super excited and you just want furniture and you act super emotional, you just end up getting things that you are not gonna necessarily like in the future. It's just in the meantime type of vibe. I recommend you not to do that because in the end, you're going to spend much more money than expected. I started off with my living room and then I started off with um, my dining room as well. So like my bedroom, I just did it really quickly. I remember when I ordered furniture for my bedroom, it was really just things off of Amazon and it was the quickest thing that I could find. It was on sale and it looked good for what it was worth. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm just like, okay, it's time for a change. Let's actually get things that is going to be worthwhile and that I'm going to like. There's still some stuff that I did that were well thought out. For example, my dresser was um, something that I created myself and something that I found on Facebook Marketplace for the first time. It was my first DIY. I kind of just made it into like an emerald green color with like gold fixtures. I don't have a picture of how it looked like before, but it was pretty ugly. There, there was missing fixtures like handles like knobs color was kind of like beige but like off-white it just looked dirty so like when I actually cleaned it it was supposed to be off-white but it looked beige from all the dirt that was on there it was a huge dresser as well so like I thought I could do something with it and I did I turned it into this kind of like very I would say modern, but like a bit of contemporary cause just cause of the color and then the gold fixtures. I've been thinking about this for a while now and I didn't really know what I wanted to do, what vibe, um, but since I have like the main staples down in my inside my house, which is the dining room and the living room, I have an idea of what I should be going for. So I have this vision, okay? I kind of want my bedroom to look like a lounge or somewhere you walk in and you're just like ooh like i want to sleep there something like that so we're gonna do a slat wall um in my bedroom um it's going to be right in the middle where uh, my headboard is for my bed frame the inspo photos that i drew from was kind of just like you know um i've seen mostly uh, these uh projects done in like hotels or like lounges you usually see those slate walls like running across an area for like an accent and I feel like it'd be pretty cool if I did it in my room and then work around that. It's a pretty easy DIY from what I've seen um, since I've already done a board and batten. I feel like it would not be as difficult to do this one only because I'm going to pre-cut everything at the home improvement store and then proceed to nail it on the wall. So currently this is my bedroom. Not much is going on around here other than my drawer and a few plants. One thing I'm really excited to replace is these damn nightstands. I absolutely hate them only because it shows a lot of unnecessary clutter. So I'd like to find something that can hide that. Um, I do wish to change my light fixture to a pendant light, but that's a whole another thing I have to think about. Moving over to the slats, I taped the middle of my room because I wanted them to be aligned with my bed and drawer. The first thing I did was paint a dark color over the uh, separated section because from the inspo photos I've seen, uh, there's always a dark contrast in between slats uh, depending on the color. Uh, mine most likely will be the wooden color, so I chose a sort of black shadow paint. Uh, it's not too dark and not too light, and I chose a matte quality finish for the paint. Next, I got my wood pre-cut at Home Depot. You can get this at any home improvement store. Uh, 
uh, Home Depot is just very convenient for me, so I chose that one. Uh, depending on how big your room is and how many slots you want to add, measuring the space you would like in between your slots is key since you want to follow the effect of a decorative panel look. I cut my slots two inches wide and I stained them a dark walnut color. I used a regular wood stain from Beer, and let me tell you, wood stain is not for the weak. I spent so much time trying to make it look perfect in all areas of the wood and I'm still not done perfecting the little things such as corners and side edges uh, so be patient if ever you are doing this you might need to reapply even if you get a brand that says you can get it stained in one coat you can use your standard nail gun and two inch brad nails to have these slots secured on your wall i've linked everything below to what i've used so if ever you're curious um you can just check in my description below in the video um i also had to use a divider to keep in between the slats um it was about one inch and three quarters separated between each other i managed to get all of them on in just under an hour since they were pre-cut exactly as measured and while i was looking at I realized that I actually really like the color of the paint behind my slats. So that's why you see that it's been applied to the whole wall as an accent instead of just having it in the middle. There's still a few touch-ups I need to do, for example, the paint trimmings, as well as the few spots that need to be stained better on the wood panels. But it's all good. With every project, there comes a time where you have to perfect things. So um, I'm being patient with the process and um, I'm loving how it's looking so far.